Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Molly McAdams. I'm a rancher. I'm a steward of the land. I'm also a PhD level scientist, a businesswoman, and the mother of a teenaged athlete. My family's Texas ranch, which is about 90 miles north of here, has operated and provided beef to Americans since the 1830s. Across the human lifespan, beef is a great tasting, nutrient rich food that plays an important role in any healthy diet, including healthy pregnancies, growth and development of children, adults who want to maintain strength and energy, older Americans who want to age vibrantly. Beef delivers great nutrition as a single ingredient, real food that people enjoy eating. As a supporter of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and through the Beef Checkoff, I've proudly contributed to scientific research about this nutrient-rich food. And thanks to cattle raising practices, beef is leaner than ever before. Over 20 gold standard studies have shown that beef contributes favorably to heart health and other positive health outcomes. And today, the amount of beef we eat is consistent with what science shows to support healthy diets and is within current DGA recommendations. We don't need to cut back on beef intake to eat a healthier diet. Rather, we should eat more nutrient-rich foods and less empty calories. History and science have shown that limiting meat doesn't help people eat better and can actually lead to overconsumption of refined carbs, as well as foods high in added sugars and sodium. Research now shows that plant-based diets aren't a silver bullet either. In addition, many Americans benefit from a low-carb, higher-protein diet with meat, and DGA should encourage this choice. I'm a former grocery executive who led product development and health and wellness. I can tell you that America's favorite protein food is beef. What a great opportunity, because beef pairs perfectly with foods that people aren't eating enough of, like vegetables and whole grains. In fact, many Americans would benefit from getting more nutrients like protein, iron, B vitamins, and choline, all of which are easily found in beef, but are not as easily found in plant foods. On behalf of all who grow cattle, which are uniquely suited to convert inedible plants into high quality, nourishing protein for humans to enjoy, and all of this is done on land that's not suitable for farming crops, and as the mom of a growing athlete who needs protein-rich diets to thrive, I thank the committee for your work, your steadfast commitment to developing 2020 recommendations based on sound nutrition science. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020, an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too, so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan. Next.